Okay, here we go for a men's final. Please welcome eight-time world champion, second consecutive appearance in the Golden Harvest final from Stoke-on-Trent, Phil, the power dealer. First time entering in the Golden Harvest, guaranteed you'll be back. A lovely, lovely lad. Put your hands together for Dave Askew! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First set, first leg, it's Phil the Pro first, game on! And just getting ready here for the men's final, now underway, Phil Taylor against Dave Askew. Taylor making... 135! And what a start, 180, making his uh, second straight appearance after losing last year, and Dave Askew his first time uh, at the Golden Harvest Cup. 60. And has done very well to get here onto the stage. Well, he's at a great tournament. Um, you know, he obviously wants to win the final. But he knows that after the semi-final against John Lowe, he really has to improve. To have any chance uh, of beating Phil. Well, Phil has certainly demonstrated that uh, he doesn't let you make too many mistakes, if any. That's right, I mean, 60. that's why they call him the power. I mean, he, he, he's just tremendous, you know, and uh, he just keeps on doing it, throw after throw after throw. Sixty-two. Saying to himself there, a bit sloppy, and he won't get many chances like that to keep playing. He'll, he'll start pulling in the big up 180s, and let's hope Dave can match him as well. 100! Will you require 164? 100! <coughs> the important thing was in the first match, Phil dictated the game, Dave did as well. This time Dave's going to have to be doing a little bit of chasing. 140! Will you require 64? Could have gone 14 ball there, Dave, Cliff. Yeah, it's right the could have done, but uh, I thought he might have done, actually, because, you know, with those capable of taking any sort of shot out, so he's on a combination there, maybe trouble 19 for double 12, but at a single 19 now. 89. Bill, you require 32. Game shot in the first leg. Well, first leg, first Bill set, best of seven. And uh, no one would be surprised to hear that uh, Phil Taylor gets the edge of the match. It certainly does. I mean, uh, as I say, there'd be no letting up from uh, Phil at all. So, I mean, Dave's really, really got to come on top of his game and get stuck in there. Dave's got a very good game. If he really can hit his best form, he can go 180s, 140s, but it's not always as easy when you've got the man behind you, Phil Taylor. 140! He's certainly backing Dave, certainly backing his end up here, and uh, I just hope that uh, Dave can stay with Phil and uh, really push him to the limits, and we'll see one, 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 one great game. mentioned before about the perfect game, the nine dart finish, and the $250,000, so I think one of these two players will be very happy, but it'll be great to see it on 123. TV. 123! Dave, you require 138. 
Should look for a treble 20 then for a single 18 to leave him double 20. 98! Feels not on a shot, so Dave knows he's going to come back and have a chance to make it one leg all in the first set. Set, now tied at one each. David was very pleased with that leg. He got down Game real quick, took it out clean. And uh, that's the sort of um, darts he should be starting to throw now. That's the only way you're going to beat Phil Taylor. One hundred and eighty! But then Phil comes back with the 180, just like that. That's a great start to, to win the first set. 100. really put the pressure on here. Yeah, he's that sort of player, you know, there's no letting up from Phil at all. And uh, Dave knows that, so... Uh, 99! Dave needs a big shot here and uh, see, see what he can do. There's a lot of room there, Cliff, to feel the old here. Let's push that one. Yeah, he wouldn't have been happy with the second one there, Keith. Bill, you require 82. Well, he likes bullseye double 16 on this shot. So he wants 17 to leave double 20. And this to take the first set. 62. Phil Taylor in search of his first uh, Golden Harvest Cup title. Off to a very good start against Dave Askew. That was a good 140 there for Dave to, to put pressure on Phil on the double 10. Phil would, would have missed and Dave only had 80 to win that first set. But this is the set now where Phil will try and, try and dig more deep and, and try and jump on Dave's throw. 100! I think Phil knows that uh, he can't give Dave a lot of room, so he'll be pushing him all the way. 81. Phil has the eight uh, world titles to his credit. Uh, how many do you guys think he's, he's capable of winning before uh, before that prime of his career ends? <laughs> well, I think in, in another ten years, I think he could probably have another maybe eight or nine titles. I mean, it, it, he's just an incredible dart player. Maybe it's uh, his hunger as well as how much he really wants to keep winning world titles as well. One hundred. And also, you don't know that the next Phil Taylor could be around the corner. It's great young players coming on, and, uh, you know, Phil come from somewhere, and then all of a sudden he's playing darts, so there's going to be up and coming players Dave coming through. Require 160. 160. Well, both on the same score here, two treble 20s, double 20 would be the shot. 60. So now Phil will come Phil back. Phil, we require 160. Forty-four. Dave, you require one hundred. This would be a good shot for Dave to take out. 
treble 20, but uh, you got to try for another treble 20. So you let a single for to leave yourself 16. double top. Do you require 116? So 16 for double 20. And this will be against the darts as well. Game shot in first round. First round. Who will Well, off at one chance, it looks like is, is all he needs. And uh, he has the first leg in the second set. The pressure really is that Dave knew that once he missed that, the odds are Phil was going to take the 116 out. And that's even putting a lot more pressure on the players when they go up to take these shots out like 100. 99! Yeah, you tend to tense up a little bit uh, going for that first dot, you know, trying to find the treble. So, as you say, that uh, with Phil taking that 116, um, Dave must start thinking that uh, he's got to really start pushing him. After two days of round robin, Phil came into today's knockout stage as the number one seed, which wasn't a surprise to a lot of people. 180! That's great darts there from Dave. Well, it's just so hard to play against him. He, he, his score in Paris is unbelievable. 60. And again, 82. 82. So look at the bullseye for double 16. Oh, he's got an 18. He could go for treble 16 here, double 8. He'll stay there for 16. 50. Phil Taylor puts it away. And a two-set lead in the best of seven. We'll be back in a moment with more of the men's final at the Nally Golden Harvest Cup. If it hasn't already crept into uh, Dave Askew's mind, he's already had already has to be thinking. Uh, I'm down down two sets to Phil Taylor. Uh, well, he knows that uh, 99. if Phil takes this this next set, it's a long way back for him, and uh, Phil's not going to let up on him at all. Phil want to get this title under his belt. Well, you know, Phil obviously won't tighten up, especially because he's in so many finals and wins so many good tournaments. Uh, Phil's wife, uh, Yvonne, whenever we have a, a seven-day tournament on TV, I always say to Phil, when's your wife coming down? And he usually says, well, at the end of the week, when it's the final. <laughs> Confidence. We always take our wives at the beginning of the week, just in case. <laughs> Well, yeah, Dave, that's 240s and 100, and really, Cliff, this is a set he, he really has to win. Yeah, he's really got to get back on uh, on track, and uh, you know, but he's got a great chance here with 121 left. 60. And uh, Phil's back on 142. Dave, you require 121. Well, he should look here for treble 20, 11, bullseye. If he, he'll go for the 11. If he hits that's treble 11, then that will leave double 14. Always oh, pulled it. That's, bad. that's a bad dart from Dave.
89. Royal Cliff, I think number 42 here from Treble 20 Bullseye, double 16. He's a little close there, but uh, he's back in there with 80, so he wants 62, maybe treble 10. 90! Dave, you require 32. This is for a rare chance for Dave Askew here that he must take advantage of. Game shot in the first leg! And he does. Dave Askew! Second leg, it's Dave to throw first. Game on! That was very important against the throw as well. I mean, if Dave wins this leg, he's then got the start in the next set to bring it back to two all. But he's obviously got to get this, this leg under the belt. Sixty. Good chance here for Dave now. That's a uh, bad throw there from Phil. And if you can hit a nice little 140 here, or 100, would be a good throw. 41! Tell on Dave's face there, he wasn't happy with that throw. Well, usually, Cliff, you know he's going to come back with something big. That's right. And he has. And some players probably all realise that they just don't get that many chances when you're playing Phil. Well, that's right. Um, you know, so you've got to take it when you can. I mean, Dave's still a still slight favourite for this set. One hundred! Eighty-one! Here from Dave. One hundred and eighty. What a time to hit it as well. I guess it's not often you get a chance to put some pressure on Phil Taylor, but I, that's what you have to do to uh, beat him. Ninety-six. Well, that's it. You know, to get over the winning line, you just have to keep on pressurising and uh, just hopefully, you know, the guy's going to crack. But uh, this is a nice finish. Single twenty. Double 20 here for the third set. Game shot in the third set! That'll give Dave Dave a lot of confidence. Well, and Dave Askew trying to make a, a final out of this. Now two Four sets to seconds. one. Dave to throw first. Game on! In favor of Phil Taylor, so... Askew doing what he can. That was great darts there from Dave. He's, he's now got the darts off Phil. 100! But this is where... The reason Phil is eight times world champion, he'll most probably have 180 coming pretty soon. is really throwing really consistently and uh, say so all he can do is just keep on doing this and putting pressure on. 100! 100! Seems to settle down, he's got that third set. Uh, a little bit more relaxed and obviously a lot more confident. If there is such a word against Phil Taylor. Yeah, Phil will probably come down here maybe for the trouble 19. 97! and then he'll lead here the bullseye but no so he should stay for treble 18 132 well it's a few ways to go this way Cliff, to 141 yeah that's right that's, he pulled that with a uh, big one there Keith 
81. Bill, we require 32. Well, that leaves the door open for Taylor here to get the uh, first leg of the fourth set. Game shot in the first leg. He does exactly that. Bill Taylor. And Dorian really pulls and it was against the throw. Second leg is built to throw first. Game on. Usually in England, when we have the big tournaments, we always play maybe five sets, five legs in a set. Um, when it's only best of three legs, when you lose your darts, you're really in trouble losing that 140. set. 140! How the game can change now if Phil wins this set. He's then got the throw, and it, you know, it could be all over. Let's hope that Dave can hang in there. 140! Well, he's certainly given it a good best shot there, Chase, and... Uh... As I say, that's all he can do is just hang in there and keep on pounding that treble 20. 85! schedule that you guys have to keep uh, traveling on the road a lot. I mean, d in order for uh, to keep the kind of form and consistency that Phil Taylor uh, does from, from month to month would seem to be an amazing feat. 100! And he's still hunger. I mean, he, he's got, he just wants to win. He said to me that he's going to start practicing hard for the next big TV tournament, which is not good news for us. Already looking ahead. It's just that he has such a will to win. Um, he has an incredible attitude about playing the, you know, the, the way he plays his darts, and uh, you know, this, he's very unique um, player. One hundred. Bill, we require seventy-eight. Now this is for the fourth set. So double twelve, double six. So Phil Taylor in firm command now of this best of seven final, three Fifth sets to one. And we'll be back with more of this men's final of the Nally Golden Harvest Cup right here on Sportsnet. Fifth set, first leg is Phil to throw first. Game on. I think next year when, when we come back um, to this great tournament, we'll have to try and hide Phil Taylor's air ticket up. <laughs> uh, the words he probably would like to hear most out of uh, Phil's mouth is that uh, I'm not going or no, retire. I'm retiring. Retire is the only word. 97! Although it is great for the game. He really is a nice person. He's not big-headed. If all the world titles he's won, he could be very flash and say, I'm this, I'm this, I'm so good. But he's not like that. He really is, you know, a nice lad. 140! Through the oh, career, Keith, you know, we met so many genuine dart players. And... Uh, you know, he's a credit to the game. And especially with Dave, I mean, who's to say next year he's not back in the final? You know, this will give him a lot of experience for next year. Hopefully, me and myself and Cliff would like to be in the final, but, you know, there's so many great players now, and there's some very good Canadian players. 100. So, you know, we're all looking forward to coming back next year. Three rounds, not uh, typical Phil Taylor, but uh, he, he can soon gather that back together. Certainly can, but you know, Dave's got to hit him with a big one here, which he has. 100! He should look down here. If he looks down, he'll go for a 15. No, he's gone back up. To leave the 167. Now you do require 161. Ninety-nine. Bill, we require 167. So treble 20 and treble 19 for the bullseye. Not this time. 139. So Dave will get that much-needed chance. 
He's got to take this. Game shot in the first round. That 32 was a great pressure goal. Showed a lot of great character there. He's took the darts as well, so he's still not Second out this final. It's Dave to throw first. Game on. Certainly going to make Phil uh, work for it a little bit. Well, the last two legs have gone against the throw. One hundred and forty. Dave's played well. He, he's, he's put up a great fight, and who's to say he's not going to still win? You know, we can't just think that Phil Taylor's going to win. Dave's starting to match him dart for dart now. One hundred. You need to win four sets. And, uh, it's as simple as that, right? Well, that's it, you know. And uh, as I say, but here comes the power again. 100! Probably thought he might have slipped there, Keith, you know, just ending the time when he had a treble 20 with the first. Well, he won't be very happy with, with 100, field. And Dave's playing really good darts now. Oh. 85! Just tried a little bit too hard there and just pulled the dart a fraction. 41! Phil's gone off the board a bit here, Cliff. Yeah, that's right. And uh, he'll start thinking to himself, but Dave can hit a big one here now and really put pressure on Phil. 100! So treble 20, double eight. And this to take the fifth set. So, so you look for six and 16 here, and double 20. Game shot in that fifth set! That was a good Dave set for Askew. Dave. You know, two great legs there to take the set. And a great comeback by Dave Askew, now six three sets six. to two. Leg, and now we have got a Game final. On. We've got a final one here now. I'm going to give David a lot of confidence there. He, he just tried to keep with Phil there and then and really start to score Phil. Look at this. Oh. Tremendous stuff. Oh, that's great dance from both players. Yeah, it just seems that both of them are just geared, gone up another gear, and uh, it's tremendous to see. 140! So Dave now a nice big 100 here, plus, but Phil's levelled him on points, and he needs to try and hit another treble 20. 121! Well, as pressure packed as this is for Dave, you've got to think he's enjoying this. <laughs> Playing very well. And really, he's only three, three or four legs away from winning. And that's Dave, you require 60. Double top to take the, the leg. Game shot in that first leg. Dave Askew. So Dave Askew on a bit Second of a roll leg, here. Phil to throw first. Game on. That brings him back to within one leg of tying 59. up the match. So... It has turned around. Dave's the lad who's yeah, confident now. That, you know, he's looking confident and he's playing great. 140! It's hard to say now, Cliff, who's, who's going to well, win? Well, yeah. I mean, Phil's just gone um, incredible stuff, but Dave's matching him, dart for dart. 140! It's also great, not just for the viewers who are watching this final but all the people here they're seeing a good final not the, ex the expected 4-0 uh, this is a great game I think someone's just pressed Dave's button there and uh, he's, he's really geared up his uh, darts 
Set. Well, Phil's back. Um, needs at least six darts from here, so Dave's going to have a should have a throw at a double. Eighty-one. Dave, you require eighty-one. tie game here in the men's final of the 2000 Nally Golden Harvest Cup. We'll be back in a moment with the seventh and deciding leg. Shook his head a little bit there. And yeah, I, I don't think Phil believes that, you know, he was in a commanding position there three or four legs ago, and then all of a sudden, uh, it could be all square just after this leg. But the thing is, Dave's done it by playing brilliant, not by Phil throwing darts at the doubles and missing. Dave's up the score in brilliantly now, and he's matching Phil dart for dart, and obviously the confidence now is with Dave, and maybe take him as a, just a slight favourite. Doesn't appear to, appear to be intimidated in the least bit. Certainly isn't, and uh, I think Phil knows this, so uh, he's going to have to... Uh, build his confidence up again and get back into this match, but uh, Dave's playing tremendous gamma darts. Well, the pressure's on now. They've been hit 140 here. This will be against the throw. He must be feeling now he's got a great chance of winning. That's a good dart for Phil. You know, he likes to stack the darts. 140! finish here, treble 20. Well, if he's treble 20, he'll try and get a nice old one here and give him a chance. 60. First leg of the Phil final set. 44. Double 20. Double 10 for the first leg, the deciding set. Game seven. And what started out looking like a Phil Taylor route has turned into a real nice match. Well, I think it's been a great final, didn't you, Cliff? Yeah, it's an unbelievable final. And, uh, you know, that's what the viewers and the audience want to see. Great final. And uh, with both players playing it to, uh, to the standards that we come to see. Well, that was a bad start for Dave. And Phil really would like to be hitting a big 140 here. 100! Surprise me if this is not a 180. Yeah. 180. That's why you know the titles he's won. That's just at the right time, the big score that you need. And so many times he produces the real goods. Well, you can certainly taste it now. You can see that. He wants this title and. Uh, There's no way in the world that uh, he wants to be second. 100! He just urged himself there, come on. He knows that there's still a little bit left to win here still. It's, it's not all over yet, but there could be trouble now, Dave. 60. Phil has six starts now. Oh, that's really Phil will require 121. 
He's not on the finish here, Cliff, so he could go treble 20. Well, he's, he's looking down go. for a treble 17. Will he go 54 for the bullseye? Will he end on the bullseye? No, he's played safe. 89! <laughs> He'll be back for one more try. Well, I think Dave's just, just unfortunately lost it in the last set. 41! And Phil Taylor for the Phil Golden Harvest Championship. 32. $50,000 first prize. Extremely close and excellent final between Dave Askew and Phil Taylor. And it's Phil Taylor with his first Golden Harvest Cup title. Well, the classic men's final at the Golden Harvest Cup, the full seven sets for Phil Taylor to defeat Dave Askew. And Dave, you almost pulled this one off against uh, the world's most dominant player. Just tell us about it. Well, uh, I rate Phil as the, the best player that I've ever known, uh, as, a, as a lot of people do. And going into the final, I was just hoping to do well. Uh, when I got the three sets all, I thought to myself, you know, I can win this. Uh, and that's when I went to pot, really. Uh, uh, but congratulations to Phil. He deserved to win, and uh, I hear he didn't lose a leg in the round robins. Is that right, Phil? I lost two legs. Oh, he lost two legs. Two legs. We didn't on the first day, <laughs> no. I understand. Uh, so he's a worthy winner, and uh, I congratulate Phil. Phil, this has been an elusive title for you until now. You've got it. How does that feel? How does it feel? Absolutely fantastic. Anybody that... Um... <laughs> Thank you. Anybody that travels the globe like, like the professionals do and to come to Canada and win, win this, it's, um, it's, 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 the, well, it's one of the biggest tournaments that we play and I said it before, and it's, uh, it's one everybody wants to win. And there's a lot of professionals here, there's people from all over the world, um, not just in the men's and the ladies as well, so to, to win this tournament, is, uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. This is as good as any, any t title I've ever won. And I've won many, many, many titles, but this is fantastic. Is it safe to say... <laughs> safe to say that you, you have to bring your best darts here to win? I've, yes, definitely. You've got to play. It, it's, it's, it's a long format. It's very hard um, physically, especially for me, because it's over two days. Uh, I'm round robbing. It's a lot of games. So what I tried to do was just try to win as quick as what I, what I could. And I, <laughs> unfortunately, I, I didn't drop a leg the first day. And uh, I dropped two legs the next day, which gave me a, a good advantage on the third day because you know, number one plays number 128. As it happens, the number 28 played the uh, best dos over the last two days. He played absolutely superb. Phil, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Phil Taylor, the champion of the Golden Harvest Cup for the first time. An exciting conclusion to the 5th Annual Nally Golden Harvest Cup. On behalf of our commentators, Keith Deller, Cliff Lazarenko, John Hart, and Catherine Haycock, the Golden Harvest executive producers, Ken Finch and Kevin Thorsteinson, our director, George Hoopka, and the whole broadcast team, I'm Warren Henderson. We'll see you again next year. I'd like to introduce Mr. Ralph Birkinshaw from Nally Fine Foods, who's going to uh, present the awards to the ladies runner-up. The ladies runner-up was... Glory Ferrier! The men's role was Dave Askew! Okay, now.
now we go to our finalists. Ladies final winner, Chrissy Allen! male champion for the fifth annual Golden Harvest Tournament is Bill the Power Taylor! I'd like to call on uh, Mr Jack White to say a few words on behalf of the sponsors. Uh, on behalf of the sponsors, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I think we've had a great tournament. I think once again the Golden Harvest has proved it is without doubt the number one show in North America and fast catching up with the Europeans. We cannot thank you enough, we really, you know, we travel the world, we, we go to tournaments all over the world and we do not, and I, re I mean, I must say again, we never get treated the way we get treated here. It's fantastic and we will be back next year, thank you.